Oh, I'm at it with Susie. He keeps ruining the sword show. You just scribbling on him like a five-year-old. Oh, I wish that sorry sword was still catatonic. <sighs> Oi, what's that look for? Oh, don't tell me you're starting with that blue head knob. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, I'm not being too hard on him. He's a total moron. An absolute... Wait. Oh, why are you still here anyways? Oh, you left a couple hours ago. <laughs> Couldn't get enough of me yet. Oh. Huh? You just want to hang? L like hang out, all right? Oh, I guess you can. It's not like I'm going to kick you out or anything. Mm. Well, since you decided to stay, uh, why don't I tell you one of my famous celebrity stories? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, here we go. It's a cold night back in 2005, and I just come back from the local pub. I spent my evening down in drinks and talking like Christopher Walken. <laughs> And guys at the bar didn't like it too much, uh, even though I thought I did pretty well. <laughs> I even worked in some of his ums and ahs and made it all well timbered, and the guys were like, Oh, what do you mean I'm going off topic? Oh, right, yeah, I was talking about what happened after the pub, yeah. I left, and I saw Johnny Depp walking around the corner with this short little scrawny man. He had these six sunglasses on. Now, I've met Johnny quite a few times. We had this little man following him. He definitely piqued my interest. So I obviously went over there. And when I got closer, I realised it was Gurdip Roy, the actor that played that little guy in the one movie I don't really care about, you know. Uh, I mean, if we're honest, uh, the first one was much better. <laughs> uh, but honestly, he was a lot smaller than I thought he would be. Um... I obviously wanted a selfie with him, so, uh, you know, it's not every day you meet a guy that small, <laughs> unless you're uh, actively searching for him, right? That <laughs> can't be me. <laughs> Anyways, I just knew I had to get a picture with him, because, like, how funny will that be? Real conversation starter. Yeah, selfie with Gertie Broy. So I was like, hey, yeah, what's up? I'm Earl Nichols from the super famous band Gorillas, ring any bells. Well, of course it does. Anyway, since you're a huge fan, how about a picture, eh? And mm, he agreed, obviously. Yeah, and, uh, oh, don't raise your eyebrows at me like that, you little twerp. Oh, ah, yeah, oh, leave my ear alone. All right, all right. So he wasn't as big of a fan as I thought he would be. I guess some people take offence to me calling him a shorty, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so obviously his first instinct was to punch whatever part of me was closest and because of the real size difference, yeah, he hit me in my green emeralds. Oh, that was the worst night I ever spent with this short person. I once had a talk with Peter Dinklage, yeah. Uh, we were talking about the uh, that dragon show he's on now. Uh, it was in the works back in 2005, yeah. They were doing some things for that, I think. Um... Oh, man. Anyway, he's, um, he was a really nice bloke, even though he punched me in the... Mm, uh, uh, unmentionables. <laughs> anyway, he's... Uh, did you like that story? <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> uh, wasn't fun when it happened, though. <laughs> I can tell you that. Oh. What? Oh, how long are you planning on staying here, anyways? Hmm. A little while. Oh, it doesn't bother me, yeah. I'm fine with however long you stay, honestly. It's keeping me away from that blue haired, big boulder idiot in there. Yeah, he's an idiot, or oh, 2D. If you had any sort of sense of direction with the music, it would be anything different, so. Oh, 
Oh, you keep defending him, though. That's the issue. Listen, yeah, he's he's just a grown man with a blue hair and no eyeballs, right? Listen, he can do a lot better than this band, yet he stays here. He wouldn't be famous if it wasn't for me. You know, he forgets that all the time, man, but he... Oh. Ow! Oh, stop pulling my ear! Oh, it's fine, I'll stop complaining about Sudi. I'm sold. Uh, he's a pain, isn't he? I don't want to think about him anyways, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh. Do you want... Do you need to talk about something? Or uh, anything like that? Like, I already finished my story, yeah. And I really have a lot of those. I saved one of the best ones, so... I, I really don't care, though. Uh, whatever you want. But since you're chilling in my crib, I want to know why. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, that makes sense. Sure. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I mean, you're fine staying here as long as you need love. Just uh, don't be a floozy, uh, bum, whatever. Mm. Yeah, you're welcome here whenever you want. Mm. Uh, don't be a stranger. <laughs> my doors are always open, as well as my boudoir. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just kidding around. Yeah. Don't, don't yank my ear again, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, stop, stop. Don't do it. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, I already enjoy being here with you, you little jerk. Oh. <laughs> uh. Although next time I'm definitely going to get your ear. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um. Thanks for hanging out with me, though. I guess it would have just been normal night with me drinking my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, mm. <laughs> would you like to stay over? <laughs> Maybe watch a movie. Don't do anything. We're not going to do anything. Uh, Weird, if that's that's what you're wondering. Uh, yeah, no, tr trust me, I'm a man of my word. Um, most of the time. <laughs> ah, oh. Anyways, um, we can we can probably squat on the sofa and uh, watch a. Uh, and, and, no, I don't like zombie movies. You want to watch a? Uh, do you want to watch a rom com or something? Then what, what do you like? Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. I can deal with that movie. <laughs> I haven't watched it, but a couple of times. All right, get over there. I'll make some popcorn or something. Yeah.